What's up guys and welcome to my video. This video is all about VRAM. What is it, what does it do and how much do you need? Now VRAM is a form of dynamic RAM, like you've got on your computer already. The difference is that VRAM of course sends information to your GPU whereas normal RAM sends information to the CPU. And this information is stuff that's already stored on your hard drive but for quicker and easier access it's stored on the RAM and this makes it easier for programs to actually use it without slowing your whole system down. Now when you're playing a game every graphical setting you turn on uses more VRAM. Resolution, texture quality and anti-aliasing are the main three that use more memory than anything else but of course it all adds up. So if you want to be playing on really high resolutions at the highest settings then you need quite a lot of VRAM, but the question is how much do you need? Well unlike most aspects of the GPU, having more VRAM doesn't actually make that much difference if you're not using it. It's like normal RAM. If you're only using 4GB of normal RAM and you install another 4GB it's not going to make any difference. However, on the other side, if you don't have enough VRAM then things are going to become quite slow and sluggish and you're going to get these things like stuttering in games because it starts loading from what's called your paging file which is essentially like a second form of memory, like an emergency sort of memory that is a lot slower than the RAM but if it needs it, well, it needs it. Most PC games are normally optimised and will not stream directly from the paging file because obviously this is a game and you need the quick reactions and the whole point of having memory on the graphics card is so that you don't need to do that in the first place. So how much VRAM do you actually need then? Well, 2GB is normally enough. 2GB is enough for most people because it's mainly for 1080p gaming, and this is 1080p at the highest settings, or 1440p, again, mostly at the highest settings. However, a trend has started to occur that is kind of mucking up the graphics market a little bit. And this is the next-gen games, so things like Watch Dogs, Titanfall and Thief that have come out have suddenly used loads of memory and people haven't really seen this coming. It was only a year and a half ago that the GTX 680 was branded as the most powerful consumer card you could buy and that had 2GB of VRAM. Now we're seeing absolutely insane cards, cards like the Titan Z that have two GPUs with 6GB each so that's 12GB of VRAM so suddenly everything's gone mad and things are trying to use more VRAM. But why is this? Well one of the reasons might be due to 4K and of course 4K is four times the resolution of 1080p so in theory you're going to need a lot more VRAM to run these things. But another reason might be that because next gen consoles are out and they start loading off a hard drive you can afford to have more textures in your game and you're going to need more textures in your VRAM because you're using more at once. But whatever the reason how should this affect your graphics card purchase? What should you be doing? Well here's what I recommend. For any medium mid-range sort of graphics card purchase, you're going to run out of actual horsepower before you get anywhere near the limit of VRAM. So for 1080p gaming, maybe even slightly lower end 1440p gaming, 2GB is going to be absolutely fine and you don't need to worry. However, 1440p gaming, I would recommend that you start looking at a 3GB card. You're going to get more horsepower of course anyway because the cards are going to be a higher spec. Because games like Watch Dogs are more demanding, I think a sensible choice for a 1440p gamer would be a 3GB card. For Ultra HD or 4K gaming I would recommend 4GB. The reason I say 4GB is just because you're going to need it. The higher resolution is a lot more demanding and future games are going to need more memory as it is. So it would be really disappointing if you only had a 3GB or 2GB card and you've got all the power you need to run a 4K game, you just run out of memory, that is going to be so frustrating. Now if you pay attention closely to what I just said, you'll notice that the graphics cards actually align with what I said anyway, and so you shouldn't really need to worry too much. However, there is one graphics card out there that I am slightly concerned with. This is the £300, £400-ish dollar card, which is the GTX 770. Now it runs 95%, 99% even of games absolutely fine. However, it is a high-end card with a 2GB VRAM. Now the problem with that is, games like Watch Dogs and Titanfall, you won't be able to stick on Ultra because you don't have enough VRAM. So you're spending all this money on a card that's not particularly future-proof. If I'm getting concerns about it now with a few games, imagine what it's going to be like in two or three years' time. You expect these graphics cards to last, and if you've only got a 2GB frame buffer at such a high-end card, I think it's a recipe for disaster and to be perfectly honest I myself wouldn't buy one. If I was going to buy one I would consider getting the 4GB version. But the problem with that is the AMD equivalent has more VRAM so the AMD one is starting to look like the better option. So that pretty much wraps this up. 
I hope this simple guide has been useful, I hope it's been simple and easy to understand. It's essentially, you have a certain amount of memory, and if you exceed that, you're in trouble. So don't exceed that and don't buy something that you think you might exceed. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, they're down there. And if you've liked this video and you've thought, this is a good lad, he knows, he knows what I'm thinking, then leave a like. If you've thought, nah, you don't know, then leave a dislike. And for more videos like this, of course, check out my channel and subscribe for more videos like this on PCs, gaming and technology. So once again, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time.